Hey everyone, we're going into the first round of Shadows Over Innistrad Draft. We drafted a blue-white skies deck with a bit of a clue sub-theme that I think is pretty good. Um, we really got a ton of flyers, and we got Always Watching, which is just a powerhouse, so I feel pretty good. We would like to play first. Uh, we don't have any blue, but I'm not sure that that's a reason to send this back when we have two really good threes. I think I keep this. Um, we don't have that many blue cards in our deck. Of course, we have two in our hand, but I think this is still a keepable hand. We have plenty of time to draw blue or draw into white cards we can play. I mean, we could also conceivably just draw all blue cards from here, but... Well, see, we did it. We got there. We get to play our homunculus turn two. Bygone bishop turn three. And then we're rolling. What, like a hinterland logger? No, landhold pacifist. Haha, -ha, you can't block. Of course, he can move this equipment to it and then it can attack, which is pretty scary. But I think we're okay with that. Um, so we're going to get in there for two. We will play our bishop. We also drew our green. How about that? So we're set for for colors here. And this is usually like the best clue decks I've made have always been three colors. But this one actually isn't as focused on clues as it is to the uh, to skies. But still. So yeah, he can equip this and attack, which is a pretty sweet move. Uh, turn one, heirloom. Turn two, land, hold, pacifist, equip it is one of the better things you can do in the format. But we already have a pretty decent clock on our opponent. So that isn't a race he would win. I mean, of course, he's going to play some other stuff. I'm sure he is. But he may just also be about to transform it. In which case, I think we just drop Bound by Moon Silver on it. Okay, yeah, we just drop Bound by Moon Silver on it. For sure. Now, his equipment did transform, which is far from ideal. So we do always watching. But I think we're okay with that. Um... We couldn't have done anything about it anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So we're going to get in for four here. God, if he has aim high, I might cry. I just thought about that. He probably does. Let's be honest. He's about to play aim high. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay. Should have played bound by moon silver first. That was bad. I didn't really think about the fact that he could have aim high. Um, and now we're paying for it. Really should have played bound by moon silver first. I'd be a much happier person if I had. And we'll end our turn. Okay, silver for partisan. So always watching right now is not exactly amazing. Um, but we are going to play it. And we're going to swing with our Skulker. He could have blocked it already, so making it bigger isn't a huge deal. It's kind of a non-bow, I guess. Right? I'm happy with that. So our opponent may be packing a lot of combat tricks since he has uh, Silver for Partisan. Which makes me sad I don't have just the Wind or Compelling Deterrence, any of those good bounce spells. It actually can't untransform because of Bound by Moon Silver. Which is kind of amusing. So if he taps a four mana here and plays some creature, we feel pretty good about going gone missing swing. Um, you know, it puts us in pretty good position. It, we'd be in better position if I'd played my gone missing first. So, okay, well, he's just going to do that. Um, so now we oh, actually we probably don't bounce it. We probably bounce Ashmouth Blade, actually. That's pretty good, especially if he doesn't attack here. He probably does, though, right? Yeah. Bouncing Ashmouth Blade seems pretty good. Although it's not too hard for him to get it retransformed, I guess. So. Alright, so we swing with both these guys. So if he's gone missing, he gets a wolf, which is annoying. Yeah, I think we bounce Ashmouth Blade. It makes him so it makes it so he's not gonna have any great attacks this next turn. So, Ashmouth Blade it is. Let me get a clue. Um, do I want to empty my hand? I don't think I do. I think I like the ability to bluff here. So, we have him down to seven. 
So here comes the heirloom again, which does mean this won't be transforming this turn. So we have that going for us. Yeah, even moving this now. Oh, it's not. It's just spell, not ability. So we're good. Moving it won't give him wolf tokens. All right. Sounds good to me. So we're going to crack this clue, see what we get. Ooh, that's nice. Yep, yep, yep. We go for it. Swing with both of them. Now, if he has a trick here, he's going to get a wolf and be able to trade with my guy, which is ugly. But if he doesn't have a trick here, we're in pretty good shape. So we'll see what happens. We do have a 4-4 four, four now. Yeah, I think he's got a trick, right? I mean, double block. Okay. I mean, maybe he doesn't have a trick. No trick? Nice. All right, we're in good shape now. I mean, if we weren't already, we're definitely in it now. <laughs> so this is no longer transformed to destroy us. Um, all right, we got there. Despite my losing my poor, poor bygone bishop. Um... Mm, does Furtive Homunculus seem good? Not Furtive Homunculus. Seagraph Scob seem good in this matchup? Not particularly. Um, these creatures were all pretty fat, so we don't really want to bring it in. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do this again. All right. So this time we have an ugly hand that we're gonna send back. This one though is a keep. Um, you know, I don't know if I want to draw you. Since my Wildfield Scarecrow can get me you eventually anyway, I think I'd rather like, I think I would rather like, I think I'd rather get <laughs> um, some more uh, creatures to really get there with our, uh, man, he's going to transform immediately. He forgot to attack though. Hey, we did it anyway. So, but yeah, he's going to be able to attack right away, uh, transform right away. He could have attacked for one there, but I'm okay with the fact that he didn't. Double Thorn Fox might not be great in this matchup because even with always watching, it can basically just trade for all of his stuff. Like, you know, that thing. I like that spirit, though. So we're going to play our Fox. We're going to end our turn. So the question is, is it better to play my Wildfield Scarecrow next? It might be. Um, might be better to be a little defensive early. Making my Wildfield Scarecrow a 2-5 is no joke, though. I mean, we could go turn three, Scarecrow, turn four, always watching, turn five, Stormrider, Spirit, which isn't the worst line ever. It's funny that our two green sources were what were on top of our library there. So we're just going to take that, obviously. It has Menace. We can't really do anything about it. Halpack Wolf. Okay, well, yeah, I think we do play Wildfield Scarecrow now. And maybe our opponent has a trick to use that will help him kill it. Um, but if he wants to use a trick to kill my Scarecrow, I'm not going to be too heartbroken. I wonder if he has dual shot. It's not terrible against us. If he shows that he sighted it in, I probably would bring in a Scob for like this. Because a 2-4 does a lot on this board. <laughs> which is what he would be with always watching what the Scob would be. So A 3-1 doesn't do a whole lot on this board. I mean, it trades... And I probably would just put him in front of Halpack Wolf. Um, trading a two for a three is usually a decent deal. Although at this point, I'd probably just put my one four in front of it and see what our opponent can do about that, if anything. Ooh, Gyre Reach Bandit. That's not good. That's a good reason to be in Werewolves. That's for sure. Honestly, like, after I play Always Watching, it'll probably be worth it to swing with my Scarecrow. So I could play another good blocker instead. 
and sort of continue with the defensive plan now that I drew a Drown Yard Explorers. These two guys are about to transform, though. I'm sure our opponent will just, like, pass his turn. That I don't like. Um... Freaking guy, a Reach Bandit. I mean, even transformed, though, this is going to be a 3-5 once I... Yeah. All right, I convinced myself. Let's play these Explorers. Do I have a second one of these in the sideboard? I think I might, and it probably is worth bringing in against this guy because it just stonewalls a lot of his stuff. So the question is, do we play Always Watching next turn? All right, so yeah, he's going for the transformation here, which works for me. My creatures are going to transform in their own way um, from me playing Always Watching, which is definitely what we do now, I think. We can crack a clue first, so we may as well. Um, like this... Yeah, and then play our planes. So we're we'll crack all clue. Well, now we have Angelic Purge as well, but I still think the plan is play always watching. Look at those bodies. All right, so we're going to swing with our 4-2 here. Um, although the fact that he can trade with these guys is pretty good. Like trading for that right now doesn't seem very good. So actually I'm not going to swing. I'd rather trade for one of the big scary werewolves over there than, than the less than scary ones. So we may have to purge this in the near future. Um, I hope he doesn't play Halpak Resurgence. His deck, his deck would love that, though. So <laughs> he's probably got one. Um, Mad Prophet. Well, you're not a Halpak Resurgence, so I'm a little less worried than I might have been otherwise. Yeah, I'm probably going to purge this guy. He's just a, he's a problem. He's a thorn in my side. I could also just, like... Flash in Stormrider Spirit, who's suddenly Ghostly Sentinel. Actually, well, bigger. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty effectively. My opponent has one red mana, so he could have Rush of Adrenaline in his hand. So that's worth thinking about. For sure. Um, he could also have Fiery Temper, but it's not amazing right now. I mean, he could kill my Devil Thorn Fox, sure, but... Now I wish I had attacked with it, but I'm not super concerned about that. Right, so now we have a dead Devil Thorn Fox, but there are worse things in this world. Still doesn't have amazing attacks. Yeah, I mean. Oh, also he untransformed his werewolves, which I'm cool with. Yeah, everybody shrink back down. Okay, so we have our purge. And if we don't play anything, our opponent's werewolves transform again. So I think even if we want to play Stormrider Spirit, we should do it now. And I think I will just do it now. So it can't be... So his guys don't transform on me. So do I want to attack with my 3-5? I mean, he can double block and only lose one creature. Not sure it's worth it. I mean, it's too good at stonewalling him right now. I don't think we want to do it. We have our purge ready to go if he plays anything scarier. If he transforms this turn, we probably blow up Gyre Reach Bandit because it could mean he's got more werewolves that he wants to transform immediately. Meanwhile, our Stormrider Spirit can slowly win us, win us the game in the air, so... Yeah, he's going for the transformation. If things really go well for us, we'll draw a spell we can play in addition to our Angelic Purge. And, uh, yeah, we did. So I think we still purge the Vidin Pack Alpha here. Um, we just give up a land. One of our mini planes. So... We're going to use our Purge. All right, now we don't have to deal with any of that nonsense. Um, we're going to swing in the air. He could have aim high, but if he does, he does, you know. I mean, he doesn't, so that works for us. And we're going to untransform the two who transformed by, let's see, wide up, I guess, by playing our homunculus, who's a 3-2 now. He's jacked. He can trade with all these guys when they're untransformed, so that's actually pretty good.
Does he just transform them again? I don't know. This thing as a 2-5 is doing doing some work. If we ever need Delirium, we can throw him. Ooh. Well, the good news is all it does is trade with my Storm Rider, and I feel pretty good about that uh, because it is – I mean, I would have loved to keep Angelic Purge for that, of course, but, you know, I didn't. So, okay. So we can't play any spells this turn. We're going to attack with both of these. Bring the pain. I mean, if anything that can block this has to die if it blocks it. And we're okay with the trade there. Yeah. Okay. His guys are going to transform, though, which is less than ideal. Um, we also take two damage from Flame Blade Angel in the process. So there's some value. Kills one of my cards and does two damage to me. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You guys transform. Enjoy. You're not the scariest. I mean, this is kind of scary, but we have two things that can block it pretty well. Flame Blade Angel number two. No, just Silver Fur. I'm okay with that for now. Of course, if we ever draw removal, we like have to kill this first or things get stupid. Well... Hello. Now we can start making clues out of our two guys in the graveyard. Only at a rate of one a turn, but still. So trading for Mad Prophet or Silver for Partisan doesn't seem amazing to me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make a clue and then crack it, I guess. Although cracking it doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now. I mean, it can, it can at least be bluffing here. Um, that I can do something, you know. So. Hmm. So do we attack with our homunculus? This can't block it. The stuff that can all has to trade with it. But I think that extra body is pretty relevant right now. So no thank you. We don't have a whole lot of creatures in play, so I think that's what we want to do. He's going to loot. Or rummage, technically. Looting is where you draw a card and then discard a card. Rummaging is where you discard a card and then draw a card. It's very red as opposed to the blue, more blue aligned ability. So he attacks. Okay. aggressive um we're gonna block here and we're gonna block here and we're gonna take the other one and if he has a trick or whatever then so be it he probably does i mean he's gonna get a wolf out of it which is not good for us if this is gonna die then we may as well be using our um yeah, that'll do it. That will do it. We may as well use its ability. So, ooh, plus fiery temper. That's messed up. Wait, what are you going to use that on? My poor homunculus? Don't use it on him. What did he ever do to you? Yeah, we're in trouble now. Uh, <laughs> no, he's going for that. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to use its ability. Drawing a card, I guess, would have been good, but... Getting another forest isn't bad right now because it lets us use the uh, life gain ability multiple times. So we're in trouble here. If I were him, I probably would have killed my homunculus. I don't know if we can get out of this now because um, it's pretty ugly. We do have the ability to gain life and draw cards, so if we can do it, I mean, if any deck can do it, it'll be this one. He just untransformed those guys, too, which works for me. Okay, so we're going to crack our clue here. Okay, you are, in fact, a creature. So that is that is something. Um, pl 
play my militia captain here. We do have delirium, so that's nice. Um, so I think we end our turn. We'll make a clue at the end of our opponent's turn, um, gain some life, so forth. Yeah, if we have another one of these in the board, we definitely want to bring it in. It just blocks really well all of his guys, even as a 2-4. So what you going to bring? Okay. Well, this time, I'm just going to block with my homunculus and offer the trade. I'm sure he's got another trick, which means another wolf token, but I think we make him use it. What do we want to draw right now? One of our bigger creatures, obviously. Okay. So he's going to transform everybody. In the meantime, we're going to gain some life. I mean, if we're lucky, we can play two spells here. Um, and we don't have to be that lucky, honestly. We have tons of mana. So if we play two spells here, we're in much better shape. Uh, so we're going to, well, let's crack a clue first. That's usually what one should do. Awesome. That is, in fact, awesome. Now, the problem is he's going to get a wolf token. But we can shut down the strongest wolf he's got, um, which is probably worth it. Plus, uh, they're all going to, well, this one's going to untransform. So, okay. So, Spectral Shepherd, get out there. Oh, did we just tap our mana wrong? Please tell me. Yeah, I did tap my mana wrong. Go me. Okay, well... That doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Um, I mean, we're not dead or anything, but if I'd played two spells there, it would have made a big difference. Plus, I would have been able to play Bound by Moonsilver. So that was a big mistake. So that's our second mistake with Bound by Moonsilver. Um, whoopsies. So <laughs> it's not good. That's for sure. At least it wasn't another Fiery Temper. I don't know why I tapped all my planes. Inner Struggle. Okay. That's okay with me. Swing for a bunch. I block silver for partisan. If he tax with it, oh, then I just block a wolf token. Yeah, we just block a wolf token here. We can return this to our hand, which is nice, um, if he does shenanigans to, to like kill it. So... probably going to be better to make a clue uh but if we have to we can use we can make we can do wolf token if he gives it trample oh aim high yeah so the block is still declared so i think we go ahead and return it, it gives us the ability to play another spell oh it has trample no it doesn't it's just the wolf good <laughs> another play mistake would be pretty hard to come back from i'm already i'm already struggling through the play mistakes I've made. So that drops us down to eight. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> but we still have the wolf problem of the, he's going to get a 2-2. Two -two. Why do we have to play so many spells that target our opponent, man? So this time I'm not going to be stupid. I'm going to do, I'm going to end up doing it again. I can feel it. I'm going to play our shepherd. And we're going to play Bound by Moon Silver. I think that's better right now. It does mean he's going to get another wolf. Um, two forcings. I mean, we can gain life, so we're not just dead on board. So that's good. And this will get a little smaller. And it won't have Menace anymore. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play Bound by Moon Silver here. pretty close to dead on board um this thing has taken over the game because we keep oh why didn't he get a wolf shouldn't he have gotten a wolf oh instant or sorcery hey that's much better <laughs> it's very specific with its instants and sorceries too bad it doesn't like make it a blank text box like lignify or something that's what we would have wanted 
right? He's looting. It's been a rough game. I mean, even though we have always watching an ongoing investigation, our opponent's werewolf horde is formidable. All right, well, mm, interesting. So he pulled that back, which kind of makes me think it's another aim high. <laughs> Does this say non-token at least? No, it doesn't. That's stupid. Why don't you say non-token? You're like your own army. He's not sure that he's swinging, which is good. Um, I'd be happy if I get to gain life here. Okay, all right, that's aggressive. Um, probably means he has something, but let's make him let's make him use it here. It'd be cool here if he like uses a trick to try to kill us uh, with one of these guys, and we gain the life, which he forgets that we can do. Um, doesn't look like that's happening. Although this thing is still dead, we have that going for us. Unless he has another trick. If he has the one to give him a double strike, then we're dead. But we're definitely not bouncing our guy now. So we go to three, which is bad. It sounds bad, and it is bad. But we have, we could get out of this, maybe. Probably not, though. Probably not. Uh, all right. Well, that's, gaining life is a way to get out of this. Um play this land. Let's crack this clue. Oh, man. We don't have another spirit in play. We could have gained even more life. We do have to play both of them, I think, um, to have a shot here. Well, we're only at four. You're going to gain me four. Yeah, I think we have to play both. I mean, gaining playing this and then gaining more life isn't going to be as good as having this as a blocker. So, oh, we don't want to make that mistake again. So we're going to play our chaplain, who will try to help us live longer. And an apothecary, guys, who's a very good blocker right now. I wish he also gained me life. If he did, we'd be very happy. So we're trying. We're trying, trying to get there, everybody. I mean, this is pretty good because once it... Oh, that's that's not good, though. Once this blocks, um, it then... You know, I get to gain four, first of all. Um, but, you know, I haven't actually done the math. Do I still survive if I gain four life? I think I do. Once this is swinging, we're in trouble. But we can go on missing that, I guess. So, yeah, we block one of these wolves. Well, we block both of... Two of the wolves. We gain four, and then we're going to get two wolf tokens who can try to help us. Okay, that's pretty good. Are we going to get out of this? I don't know. <laughs> we might. I mean, it's starting to look realistic now. <laughs> it wasn't for a while. Um, ongoing investigation and always watching are definitely helping, though. So what are we gone missing? Quilled wolf? Because it's swinging is a problem. Um, we can't stop that very effectively. We could do it to a wolf token, which means it just disintegrates, but we can block it pretty well. So, <clears throat> so I think the first thing we do is this. Oh, they're not going to get buffed. I forgot about that. I mean, I think I still do it, but let me think. Yeah, we still do it. Just having the chump blockers is pretty relevant. Um, Okay, and then do we just play our Niblis, or do we play Gone Missing? Might just be Gone Missing. Buying us that kind of time is legit, and we're actually going to get him for some damage here also, unless, of course, he has Aim High. But even if he has Aim High and we bounce there, yeah, let's bounce the Wolf. Get out of here, Quilled Wolf. We also know that's what he's going to draw next. And I tap too much mana for it. So why don't we go ahead and... <laughs> We can either crack a clue. I think gaining life is better right now. Takes us up to eight. All right, we're treading. We're we're trying to get there. All right, playing the Niblus might have been better. Oh yeah, I forget. I forgot to get another clue. Jeez, killing it. <laughs> we 
We may actually have managed to win this one despite my horrendous misplays. Our opponent is digging ferociously, probably for like clip wings, although it's not very good now. For like another aim high, that would be pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what for. We know one of the three cards in his hand is a Quilled Wolf. He didn't just discard one. Um, we don't know what the other two are, though. Okay, making wolves indestructible is not my idea of a good time. But that doesn't mean, a whole, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Being able to flash that in is pretty nice. So he's only got red mana. So we swing again for three here. gives us another clue and then we play Niblis here which will give us lethal next turn if our opponent can't finish us so my horrendous play you know is being bailed out by how good of a job I did drafting so I've always said I'm a better drafter than than I am player <laughs> that's definitely true but uh so yeah this is pretty good I mean we can go up to 10 life if we have to and still be able to flash in our spirit for the win um we have the win even without the spirit, so yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna pass the turn. He has to leave. A, I mean, he can't do both of these, you know. So that's ten mana, and he's only got six. So so yeah. I could have moved that. I guess it wouldn't have been the worst thing, especially because we untransformed that. Uh, but I think we're okay anyway. Because, well, let's think here. He has six mana to pump it. He doesn't have the mana. Oh, that's going to complicate things. I'm glad we have Storm, Storm Rider Spirit in our hand. I'm very glad we have Storm Rider Spirit in our hand right now. Um, so are you going to swing with, like, everything now? Is that what you're bringing? Bringing everybody? Yeah, okay. All right, so we definitely flash in Stormrider Spirit now. We want to leave green up, though. Okay. So the sad news is I think we have to block everything to be safe. We can go up to 10 life, but I think we probably want to block everything. I think killing these is important. Um, I mean, not everything. You're not going to be able to block everything. But these get through for three. I mean, he can't kill us. I think we double block this guy, too. That's going to leave us with still lethal damage. Uh, unless he has a trick here to kill some of our guys. Three, five, six. Oh, no, that's not a good idea. Um, that is not a good idea. Changed my mind. Uh, it would be nice to kill that, but it's it's not a good idea. So we're going to block there instead. If he has Rush of Adrenaline or something, we're still in a lot of trouble. We can gain two life. So let's see what our opponent does here. That just all happens the way I want it to. So that gives us seven damage in the air. Um, he could still have aim high. How many has he played? <laughs> just one. I don't know. I don't think we've seen more than one, but he could have more than one. He may have cited an extra one just for me. Gaining life or drawing a card better? Probably drawing a card. Yeah. Yep. Drawing a card was good. Um, it gives us a chance to stabilize even if he jacks us up here. We can also start gaining multiple life off of Apothecary guys if we have to. So we get there? We got there. All right. My poor play was overshadowed by always watching and... Uh, uh, ongoing investigation, which got us there. So we won the first match. It was a struggle. Tried to pull the deck down, but it wouldn't let me. So we'll go into the second match. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.